All right, finally, an absolute value equation. So first thing I'm going to do is look and make sure the absolute value is isolated and make sure that that answer is even possible, and they are. So I'm going to do set up my case 1, case 2. Case 1 is x over 7 minus 1 is the positive 5. Case 2 is x over 7 minus 1 equals a negative 5. Go ahead and solve both equations. I have two solutions. So I have x over 7 equals 6. Now I'm going to multiply by 7 because the opposite of division is multiplication. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so I have x equals 42. Now this one, add 1, so I have negative 4, x over 7 times 7, x is negative 28. Okay, now since it's an equation, I have to check and make sure I don't have an extraneous solution. So I'm going to take my, prob or my answers and plug them into the original problem. So check one, I have the absolute value of 42 over 7 minus 1 equals 5. So 42 divided by 7 is 6 minus 1 equals 5. Absolute value 5 is 5, so that works out. So 42 is a solution. Now let's do case 2. Plug in negative 28. So I have the absolute value of negative 28 over 7 minus 1 equals 5. Negative 28 divided by 7 is uh, negative 4. So I have negative 4 minus 1 equals 5. The absolute value of negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So that one works out. So negative 28 is also a solution. So we would say x can be 42 and negative 28.